if somebody says, hey, that racist thing I did, that wasn't racist. I don't usually believe that. If somebody says, hey, that hateful thing I said wasn't hateful, I didn't mean it like that. You probably wouldn't believe that. You say, man, that really messed me up. You shot down six Asian women in cold blood and then had the nerve to tell them, no, it wasn't about race. And then we have police out here that do the same thing and try to retell the narrative and say, you know what, we're not racist. We actually, we're out here to protect. But getting back to what I was saying, those kids that, that made that video reenacting the murder of George Floyd, that did not happen in a vacuum. Those kids, they learned that from somebody. They got that passed down from their parents. Mm -hmm. Who got that from their grandparents? Who got that from their great-grandparents? Who got that from their great-great-grandparents? Somebody told them that they're exceptional and above the law. Somebody told them they don't need to respect black folks. Somebody told them they can reenact the murder of a black man and giggle about it. Uh-uh. Have somebody reenact the same thing about somebody that you lost and have them giggle. You would not feel so great about it. You would not. And it shouldn't take empathy for you to stand up for it. Home streets! Home streets! Home streets! Home streets! Home streets! Home streets! If we don't get no justice, we don't get no peace. If we don't get no justice, we don't get no peace. Yes. What do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! What do we want it? Now! Treat people the way you want to be treated. Stop letting people get treated so poorly. When you see your friends, it's disrespect to speak up. I just want to start by saying if you are not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. If you are white and you are not an ally, you are a racist. That's true. If you are not willing to stand up and speak out, you are participating in silence, and you are enabling violence. Yes! If we are not willing to speak out against racism as white people, it will not stop. Racists do not listen to people of color because they are racist. They are not willing to be here and to be heard. We're still mourning. Asian people are mourning. My mother and grandma look like the people that were killed, and I know all of you know exactly what that's like. So with that being said, even though we, you might not feel xenophobia around you in this tiny community, or if you do, check in with each other, check in with Asian people right now, because still check in with your black friends, still check in with your friends, and make sure on a day-to-day -day basis that they are safe. My coach did his best. I'm not gonna criticize him, because I'll just end up in his office again. Okay. Dean will probably hear this. Dean, somebody's probably recording. This isn't personal, just like last time. Stop worrying about your own image and start worrying about the students. They're actually at risk in this community. You guys want to know what Dean said when I actually took a meeting with him to talk about this? What he said. He said he couldn't kneel because his knee hurt. He said he couldn't put his fist up because his knee hurt. Oh, Last I checked, I can still put my fist up if I didn't even have legs. Yeah. Tell me what unity looks like. This is what unity looks like. Tell me what community looks like. This is what community looks like. Tell me what unity looks like. This is what unity looks like. Who can do better? Dean Rashad. 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 Dean I am a senior at West Fargo High School. This is Andy, he's a senior at Davies High School. She's a junior or a sophomore at Davies High School. None of us are coming to your college because you're racist. Oh. You cannot put these black students and these people of color and these minorities on your pamphlets if they're not even coming to your school. So, so you gotta do it. Yeah. So right. You have nobody for your basketball teams if they don't come here because you're racist and they won't win. So those rings you got, you better stop counting because that's all you got. And to the administration, I also really want to say one thing. Us students and youth, we are trying to help you understand a perspective. We are trying to help you stay less problematic and less controversial. So the fact that you guys think that we are attacking you guys, when truly we're coming from a place of love, care, and just equality is on you. You guys are the ones being ignorant, not us. At the end of the day, we are trying to help you. And one last thing I want to say is, I honestly think that this is like the first time ever living my life in like 17 years of Fargo, truly feeling like loved and represented as an Asian person. And so I want to say thank you to you guys.